What's up guys, Devil Dog Gamer here, and I'd like to thank today's video sponsor, TacPack. TacPack is the man's monthly box. For $49.95 a month, you receive a box each month that contains everything you would need from weapon parts, shooting gear, survival gear, everything you could possibly think of. And if you use code DEVILDOG on checkout, you get yourself a nice mystery box. So head on over to TacPack.com and show some support to the channel and to an awesome monthly gift. What's up guys, Devil Dog Gamer here, and guess what? Finally got the Sam 7K back from Mr. Brandon Herrera, the AK guy. All fixed up, all ready to go, and I said, you know what? What better way to commemorate this thing coming back than to fucking paint it? So we got a bunch of brown owl paints. We are gonna do a rattle can job on this thing. I'm thinking probably like earth brown and different things. I wanna test some colors first and see what it looks like, and then go from there. But anyways, guys, let's go through and see what we got. So let's do some test sprays and figure out where we're gonna start. Okay, so we got Earth Brown, Desert Tan, Coyote, OD Green, and Gray. So what I'm thinking of doing is I'm thinking base will do as the Desert Tan with some stripes of the Desert Brown, the Earth Brown, and maybe a little bit of checkerboarding uh, into that. So that's definitely gonna be the base. It's light enough, it's cool looking. Get like an alpha AK look. So we'll go from there. All right, so let's start painting the base. Hey, right, first coat's on. Actually, it looks pretty badass, I gotta say. Um, it adheres pretty well to it. Even the rubber, this is an SB Tactical rubber brace, adhered to it pretty well. Still see all the numbers. I'm gonna let it dry out. And once this thing gets like worn out, oh, it's gonna look so cool. It'll look so cool. All right, boys, so let's let it dry for a bit and we'll come back and hit the other side. All right, so we got the final coat on. Looks good to go, ready for the next set. Now, I'm not sure if I just wanna do a straight swipe, swipe, and then hit with this mesh bag, or just do it mesh bag. I might try mesh bag first. I'm gonna kinda of cut up the mesh bag a little bit so it's easier to kinda of get over and drape over, and then spray it with the, uh, the earth brown to kinda of give it this weird little scaly look to it and try with that. So let's cut up the bag and get this started. That's how I'm thinking of just draping it like this. But unfortunately some of it gets hung up so I don't want to make it nice and 
Fish. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Just, it's just spray paint. It's not. All right, so let's just give it kind of a fucking shot, I guess. Too bad. We got some uh we got some cool looking things here. Some nice cool looking stuff. To be honest. It's not too bad. It's not too bad, dude. I actually should have done some more. I think on the other side I'll do a few extra stripes and the other side stuff. <laughs> but it's looking pretty cool. It's better than I thought it was gonna be. Alright. So we got the next setup going. We just need to get it all up in there. Yeah, it came out okay. That fucking bugs on me and shit. So now we just let it dry. Actually, I want to get the underside real quick. Make it kind of almost go all the way around. Just let it dry and see how it turns out. Well, guys, so here it is, all finished up. Looks pretty cool. I'm kind of mad because this is supposed to be brown, and it looks like a poop green almost. <laughs> but I think it turned out pretty good for my first time ever doing a uh, doing a spray job. I mean, dude, this thing is. Badass looking. I gotta say, 
And the great thing is, since it's a rattle can, just a little bit of steel wool and oil comes right off again. So here, let's get the show off the other side. Pretty cool. I liked the base coat. The base coat is really nice, um, but I don't know. This is supposed to be brown, and it just kind of looks like a green. But when it starts wearing off, it'll look really, really cool and just be a lot of fun. I like it, though, man. I like it. Can't wait to suppress it, throw a mag in it, put an EOTech on it, and have some fun. So what do you guys think? Should I do another gun? Do you like it? Do you think it's cool? Do you want to see some more of it? Let me know in the comments below.